Hello everyone, sorry I can't be with you today. Um, I should be back next week. So, so far on Tinkercad, we've been designing Tudor houses where we've had um, two different floors and a roof. And then we went on to designing chimneys. And you can see up here, I've been doing some other stuff based on solar power as well. So you can design lots of stuff and remember it's all free. Now I'm doing this on an iPad today because it's really easy to record my voice and movement on an iPad. But for you it's going to be much better on a laptop. If at home you want to do it on a tablet, um, there is a free Tinkercad app you can download which I'm using today. So we're going to try and design a bridge today. So I'm going to go to create new design. And I want you just to think of the shapes you might need for a bridge. There's only three shapes you need. Please try and use the correct mathematical terms. They don't actually do that on um, Tinkercad, but I know you're, you, you're learning them in school, so we'll, I'll use the correct mathematical terms. So have a look at the shapes, think about what we might need. We can add some more detail later if you've got time. So I'm going to use a cube. They call it a box, but we call it a cube. So I'm going to put that here. Um, notice I'm going to leave quite a lot of space to the left of the cube. And then I'm going to stretch it to make a cuboid. And I'm going to leave a nice lot of space to the right of the cuboid. Now, in terms of these distances, we can change those. Um, so if I just click on that, you can see that's 20. Um, and you can just click on that and change it. It's really quite hard to do it on the iPad. Um, I, can, I can manually do it, so I'll just make that 25. But it's much easier for you on the, on the laptops. I'm just going to make it less high as well. Remember that cone at the top. Um, don't play with the cone at the moment because that moves the height of the shape above this, above the plane. So I want it to touch. So this is like the ground um, that it's touching or the water. So you need it to be touching the ground or the water. So I'm just going to make it less high. I'll take it down to 15. These are called variables, so I can change them. So I'm just going to have two um, places where the water comes through. Otherwise, it's going to be like a dam, isn't it? So I'm just going to do that. Now, notice I've gone wrong. I've put it way off the plane, so there's an undo button at the top. So I'm going to drag it down. That actually uses the correct terminology, cylinder, which is brilliant. And it's in the foreground, so it's at the begin. It's at the front, so I need to push it back. I can just do that with my hand. Notice it misshapes it, so I'm going to do undo again, and it puts it back. Now what I want to do is rotate it. So I get another bit of mass there. I'm going to rotate this, and I want it to say 90, so it's flat. Just carefully do it. There we go. And then I want to slide it back through the bridge. It's such fun doing this. I mean, I never get tired of doing Tinkercad. I'm just going to extend that cylinder. I've been doing this for a long time, but I still love it. So can you see? I'll just put the cylinder there. Remember that's a hole, so it doesn't matter how long the cylinder is. And now I need to move it down. Um, now on your laptop, you can press control and the down arrow. And you should have a help sheet that Mr. Smith's done for you. So I'm just going to move it down. Then I'm going to check from the side. Cool. That look, does look good. <laughs> I'm really pleased myself. Now I want the other cylinder be, to be the same size. So top left, there's a copy and a paste. And I'm going to try and slide that across. There we go. 
Now I'm doing this by eye, but you could actually measure um, the number of squares. So let's just show you. So if I move that across to there, I could say, right, the edge of that cylinder is going to be 10 little mini blue squares. So if I just, if you just look, can you see the edge of the cylinder is against that thick gray line. So I'll do the same on this side. So I'm going to make that come out to one of the thick lines there. And then I'm going to make that. Just click on the cylinder and just move that across. There you go. Now this one's got to be moved back. So I'm just going to look from above and move it back. Now hopefully you'll think, oh, I could show my family this and do some of this at home. Now it looks like a car, but actually if you look from underneath, you can see those are like half cylinders. So um, sort of half circles really. So that's where the water will go through the bridge. So the next thing I want to do, I should save it then. So I'm just going to save it as bridge one, because I might do another one. I'm really enjoying it, bridge one. And then it should save. So I need to, to in those days, they'd have had horses and carts. So they'd need some way of getting up to the bridge. So we're going to have to use one of these other shapes. I'm going to use that one. They call it, what do they call it? A wedge, I think they call it, but it's actually a tri a roof, they call it, but that's not very mathematical. It's a triangular prism. So that's what you need to call it. So let's think about what I've got to do with this. Well, I've got to rotate it again. Notice I'm using that word quite a lot, rotate. Now I think it's 45 to be that way up, but I want it the other way up and I think it should be 135. For those of you that want to know why that's 135, it's 180 take 45. But just try and remember it's 135. I'm just going to try and type that in. So minus 135. So be help your friends to do that. And then I'm going to move that across and just push it against there. Now remember, you've got the arrow keys to do that on your laptop. I haven't got any arrow keys on here. I'm just doing it with my finger. So it's much, much harder. And be very patient. Remember last week, Mr. Smith said you have to be patient when you're a computer user. There we go. And then I'm just going to check from the other side. I need to move it down. So for you, if you do control and arrow keys, it will move it down. I'm just going to do it by hand. There we go. And then I need to make it a little bit higher. And then a little bit longer. So that the people or the horses going up there can manage. And I've just got to make that a bit less wide. Cool, I'm doing really well. I'm happy with myself. And remember, if you get good at this, you can show other people. Um, you can show your family or friends, or you can even start to make videos like Mr. Smith is doing. So I'm happy with that. Now this one, I want it exactly the same the other side. So think about what we're going to press. That's it. Top left, copy top right paste and I've got two of those now I'm going to have to rotate this 180 degrees so watch Mr. Smith do it and I'm going to stop at 180 I've just run out of space on my screen If you can't get it right, just zoom out a bit. 
and then we'll try rotating again. I'm really struggling with that, so what I'm going to do is get rid of it and do it again. That's what's really nice. Copy and paste. It's probably because I went a bit too close to it. Let's try again. There we go. Now I'm happier. And I've got to stop at 180. You could, if you're doing this at home, just put a bit of music on because it's actually quite relaxing doing this process. And then I'm just going to try and get that to fit there. Oh, look at that. Oh, I think I'll change it all to grey because it would have been built out of stone. Grey. 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 Now, there's something slightly wrong. I don't know if I've got... There's a little, tiny little gap there. Can you see? So try and be quite precise and get it all accurate because that's the whole thing this is called computer aided design so you want to be as accurate as you can and you can see i've really messed that up now so i'm going to stop there um, and then i'm just going to get that right myself um, let's just go click on there that's right so that's a hole so i don't want that to be a hole i want that to be solid now, I've made a real mess of this, so I'm going to use my undo. So I guess the main um, skill of this is learning the different um, ways of moving things, making sure you save, and also being very patient. So I'll try and improve that and um, have fun. To save, it's top left, and then it'll save your work. So enjoy it.